Better ingredients, better pizza. Tell the workers that you are on the freaking country guest list. I feel famous right now. Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to Life Fest and we are going to see for King Country and a lot of other amazing artists. But for King Country, I feel like is the one we're all most excited for because it's like our favorite artist. Um, so I'm here in the back with Tylee and Jacob and we're going with my dad and my grandma. And yeah, so we are driving there right now and I don't know exactly when we're going to get there. Probably like mid-afternoon, but we are on our way right now. We made it to Lifehouse! We're here! And it's only like 1.20, so it's not even that late in the day. So we still have plenty of time left to see lots of cool artists. Yep. And yeah, we'll give you a more full lineup of who we're gonna see in just a little bit, but yeah, we made it. Yay! We're gonna go meet up with one of my friends at the edge. Good place. Yeah, there's not very good like reception here, so I've been trying to text her for like literally 20 minutes and I haven't gotten anything through. So we're gonna go meet up with her and see what happens from there. So we just met up with my friend Emma. You met her in my Aladdin vlog and she's actually camping here, so that's kind of fun. We're just here for the day. But now we're heading back to meet up with our dad and our brother and our grandma um, at a concert. The main people we're here to see today are Rebecca St. James, Spencer Kane, I believe we are going to see Ryan Stevenson for a little bit. <laughs> awesome, this so, is such a cool place. Yeah, so we're going to head over there, see the rest of his concert, and then I think Rebecca St. James isn't too long after that, so then we'll see her. Know. Hear from us for a while until like the freaking country concert because I'm very low on phone battery, so I'm trying to conserve as much as possible so I can film some from the concert. This we are up by the grandstand the right now. Right? Um, so Kenny is talking, so you can't really hear us, person. but that's okay. It's very loud. <laughs> King Country will start for another hour or so, but we have our spot. We are like right up here, and they usually walk in the crowd during their concerts, and this is about where they walk. So hopefully, so we're hoping, hopefully, we'll get some footage with. Uh, we're within like hopefully like ten minutes of the concert starting, Literally. and we are so excited. Wisconsin. I don't know what it's like to be you. You don't know what it's like to be What if we're all the same in different kinds of ways? Can you, can you relate? I need to know to be open when you leave or when you stay. Just a little Song. All right, so it is now actually over a week after I filmed that Life Fest vlog. I just wanted to check back in and kind of film a little outro and tell you guys a fun little story about one of our Life Fest experiences. So I actually referenced this story in the title of my video. So if you're wondering what that title is about and you see anything about it in the vlog portion of the video, this is where that is going to tie into everything. So this story actually happened four years ago now in 2018. My family had just started really getting into For King and Country and my brothers and I made a Lego stop motion to For King and Country's song, Joy. We made little minifigures of Joel and Luke. We 
put over probably like at least six hours into making the stop motion, making everything line up with the music, and we basically made it like a concert of theirs that we had seen online. And we actually ended up sending it to for Canadian Country on their Facebook page. He said something about how we had been hoping to see them at Life Fest, but it didn't look like we were going to be going because we hadn't like gotten tickets at this point and a lot of them were sold out by now because it was only like a month before at the most. So we sent this off to them and just were like, I mean, the worst that can happen is that they're never going to see it, like whatever. But then a couple days later, we get a message back from Fakian Country and it says that they shared the video with the guys and that Joel and Luke loved it and they wanted to offer us free Life Fest tickets to go see them at Life Fest. And we were like, oh my gosh. As if that wasn't enough, they were like, yeah, just send us the name to put them under. And when you get there, tell the workers that you were on the for King and Country guest list. And we were just like, <laughs> at the time, especially like we really thought they were like the coolest thing ever. And so like to be able to say that we were on their guest list, it was just like, I feel famous right now. We went to Life Fest and it was an amazing time. The concert almost got rained out, but it didn't. It actually delayed, I think over a half an hour, but they still went and they performed an amazing concert. Definitely the highlight of my summer that year. And I believe that is all for this video. So I just wanna thank all of you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this Life Fest vlog. It gave you a little look into what Life Fest is like. It's a super amazing experience. Everyone there is so nice and I highly recommend going. They have Life Fest in several different states. Usually there's one that's not too far from where you live. For us, it's a little bit of a drive, but nothing too bad. So definitely recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.